Hello Fezwearers, on the 29th it will be the 9th anniversary of the new rewrite add-on, although I guess it isn't really that new anymore. And a bit over a month ago it was the 10th anniversary of the old Legacy Tiles add-on. So today I'm going to be showing you the main features of both of these and see what makes them different, what makes them similar and if the Legacy Tiles is still as good as you remember. As I said, the Legacy Tiles released over 10 years ago and this was the first proper Tiles add-on to come to Gmod. If it weren't for this we wouldn't have today's rewrite add-on but I'll come back to that. There are some things I like and some things I don't like with the Legacy Tiles. I love the exterior skins and the options they have. Now when you look at these you may not think they're too different to the ones we have today and that's the point I'm trying to make. This almost perfected the way exteriors work. For example, they have different skins to change the window lighting which is used with basically every single rewrite TARDIS and they also have a skin for different texturing like snow. They also use body groups to add things to the exterior like the Clara Memorial from series 9 and the Bad Wolf Spray from series 1. This is just a small example but it shows the big picture. This little feature set in stone how it would work for a whole decade. One of the biggest hurdles in creating a TARDIS in any format is getting the bigger on the inside effect. To overcome this in the Legacy add-on, when you open the doors it just teleports you into the interior, which feels a bit like a cop-out. However, I wasn't in the community at the time so I don't know the limitations there were. Obviously there are a bunch of different Legacy TARDISes. I'm not going to talk about them all, I'll just show you the 2015 version 2.01, as it is my favourite interior. As you can see the texturing and lighting is actually pretty good in itself, but when you compare it to the one seen in the show it does fall short. However the sound design is pretty good, especially for the time. As you can see most controls have a sound and some of these are still used today. But when you zoom out and look at the big picture of the Legacy TARDISes, they've been out of development for quite a few years now with only a few still available in the workshop, in one pack which is linked in the description by the way. So with that in mind, the fact this still works in 2023 just shows the dedication from the creators. But obviously that means this hasn't aged well, especially when compared to the new rewrite add-on, which I'll do now because there are some things I think the Legacy one actually does better. August 29th will be the anniversary of the TARDIS rewrite add-on. As I said earlier, I don't know much about the history of this, but I assume this add-on was created because they wanted to add a few features that they couldn't with the old one, but feel free to correct me in the comments. The rewrite add-on takes a bunch of features and controls from the legacy and improves on them. We have the obvious things like manual flight control, that includes many keybinds to trigger other controls that you can't do in the legacy TARDIS, like for example pressing T to enable the anti-grabs. Whilst we're talking about the manual flight, I just wanted to mention how the general flying mechanics of the rewrite are so much smoother than the legacy one, and they're also a lot more simple. The rewrite actually has a vortex which is really cool when you think about it, especially when you realise the Legacy Tardis didn't have one. The closest thing the Legacy had was Long Flight. Long Flight is basically just a vortex without actually having a vortex. It's like you're viewing it from an outside perspective and it has just travelled into the vortex. And whilst we're here, I just want to talk about the really unique but also really annoying destination feature. You can choose where you land with this little cross and you can zoom in, but it's really annoying, especially on maps like this where you can't actually see most of the ground. It's also not very precise and it has this really weird bird's eye view. However, that only works on long flight mode. The default mechanic is that it has a much shorter flight and it lands wherever your camera is when you dematerialise, which can be very fidgety, especially on very cluttered maps. The rewrite has so many more TARDISes with some being really detailed with excellent lighting and sound design. Some of my favourites are the Twice Upon a Time and Ruth TARDISes, the 2010 TARDIS and the Toyota TARDISes. I also really like the Warriors TARDIS which I'll be doing a full review of soon so subscribe to not miss that. But just because the rewrite has more features and is better maintained, the Legacy TARDIS is so much more popular with more than double the subscriptions. 2013 was the biggest year for Doctor Who since the revival and that caused the Legacy add-on to have over 450,000 subscribers in 2023 compared to the rewrite's 226,000. The rewrite add-on has so many groundbreaking features that no one could have ever imagined being in Gmod, like the arch on energy, the comedian circuit, and the extremely accurate textures and animations seen in many TARDISes. But at the end of the day, the legacy TARDISes are very nostalgic for many people, but they don't particularly hold up to today's standards when compared to the rewrite, as it still has a pretty active fanbase and it's better than ever. It still gets updated with many new features pretty consistently, like the comedian circuit, which which I mentioned earlier. That allows you to change any TARDIS exterior from a big list of different exteriors referencing all areas of Doctor Who. Watch my full review of it.